it's certainly the most rewarding, the richest part of what I do. It's uh, the thing that gets me up every day, the thing I have the most passion for is taking care of these patients. I think for a while you're just in a land of dis total disbelief and so often you go from doctor to doctor to doctor and ask the same questions. Could you tell me this isn't so? The oncologist reviewed the numbers on the screen, turned to me at the end and said, you have a malignancy. It's called multiple myeloma. When you have a rare disease like that, you can feel very isolated. You can feel like there's no one else in the world who has what you have. I was devastated to know that my son would, would suffer. This disease in infants is quickly fatal. They will die before age one. I just want to help raise awareness and let people know that it's out there and my father's suffering. We learn from these families, from the sacrifice. And they, they give us understanding about what our own lives are, are all about. Today there's a very vibrant community that's focused on promoting disease awareness uh, and supporting drug development efforts to uh, attempt to discover new therapies. Thanks to family testing, once we identify an alpha-1 patient, we extend that testing uh, to their entire family. There's been some dramatic progress in this particular disease, and I just hope for more and I'll work for more. We were lucky enough to admit us into his clinical trial. I noticed after a couple of treatments, all of a sudden he's up, anxious to go out and walk, and you know, my husband was back. Hope is kind of the theme, hope is in your genes. Oh. It kind of relates to the efforts happening right now with science and research, genes, genetics, right? That we're gonna be able to uncover some of these diseases and help find treatments and cures for this community that's so deserving. There really is a community out there of support, whether you're undiagnosed, recently diagnosed, or have been a long time patient with a rare disease. This disease has not stopped me yesterday, today, and it won't stop me tomorrow. The message I'd like to give to families is there's hope. The cloud hanging over their heads is still there, but it's lighter, and that there's tremendous progress.